Hello chat box out there. Today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my last two days of the week. So that's Thursday and Friday. I hope you guys have all had a great week and have all had a lovely end to your week. On my Thursday I got up, I got shower and changed, I had some breakfast, listened to a bit of music, did a bit of drawing, a bit of colouring in. My dad was at work, so it's my older brother and sister, younger brother and younger sister as well. My mum was asleep she got up and then we were just watching a bit of tv i was off i'm off on thursdays as i have touched rugby in the evenings and sometimes i work in the day but i don't do evenings but i was off in the day as well which was good so i didn't work first evenings and i didn't i didn't work yesterday daytime which was good and got a lion and was just watching some netflix listening to music i played with my pre-tech dolls and sorted those out and was watching some vlogs and TikToks, listened to a bit of music, did a bit of colouring in and worked on some illustrations, doing a bit of writing, tidying my office up as it's a little bit of a mess. And then for my lunch, I just had some sandwiches and a cup of tea. And then I went off on a ginormous walk and I got some flower snaps that I'm going to show you guys now. I got some really good flower snaps and then I went off to Coffee Co, this coffee place up the high street where two of my ex colleagues work and one of my touch rugby mates actually owns the place and I went in and got myself a white chocolate and mint frappe, they was so good. I then went and sat on a bench and had that and before I had that I got a snap of it that I'm going to show you guys now. It was delicious. Then I went off to go to the flower shop off the high street, but it shut until 9th of September as they've got lots of bouquets and stuff getting ready for weddings. So I couldn't go in there and get some flower snaps, which is a shame, but I just have to wait and go in there when it opens again. I then went into Audi just for news and it sells anything and everything in there. I love Audi. You can you never know what you're gonna find in there. And I got some new books that I am going to show you guys now. The first one I got was Love, Simon. I love the film and I've always wanted to read the book because the book, books are always the same as a film. So there might be, it might be different and there might be things they miss out in films that they haven't in books. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading these. I'm such a bookworm. I'm one of those people though that I'll start reading one book and I'll have like two other books on the go at the same time because I just love reading ones in my family. Then I got Dickerson Beef and I've just watched the last one on Netflix and I absolutely love it. I love the films and I can't wait to read this as well. And then the third and final one, I love this series so much and I can't wait to read this one as well. And yeah, so I got those books. I then got back and watched the Aussie Soaps listen to a bit of music, a little bit of drawing, a bit of colouring in. My older brother was back from being at work and he went off into the hot tub. My dad was back from being at work and had gone off to bed. And my older sister was still at work, younger brother at work and younger sister at work as well. And I then just had a cup of tea and some biscuits and was reading a bit of the Marvel Society, listened to a bit of Kylie, worked on some illustrations and I had a cup of tea with some of my chocolate biscuits, chocolate digesters are so good. They're probably my favourite biscuit. I got that, I got some of those on Wednesday evening after my shift. But I only did like an hour's work because it was so quiet, which is a bit annoying, but got to finish early, which is good. And then I was getting ready for touch rugby. My old boy went off to training, so he wasn't going to touch rugby. Uh, my older sister was running a little bit late, so my dad ended up dropping me to touch rugby. I got to touch rugby and showed off my new rugby trainers that I showed you in a previous vlog, which has my name on the side, which is so cool. 
and one of my touch rugby mates, Gemma, bless her, she's so lovely, helped me tie the laces up because they weren't laced up too well. And she was like, I'm going to break your ankle if you want while I'm playing touch rugby with your shoelaces like that. And she did them a little bit too tightly, but it was fine. And I didn't score any tries, but I defended well. And also I caught the ball and started from going ball to ground, which would mean the other team got it. And yeah, it was just so much fun. I always have so much fun at Touch Rugby. And you know what they say, time flies when having fun. It's such a lovely bunch of people. They are my Touch Rugby family. They're so lovely, so supportive. And yeah, it's really good. I'm determined to score a try though, because I haven't scored a try in so long. So that is my aim now, to score a try. Get quicker and quicker each week. I feel myself getting quicker. And then I was finished. My older sister came along like halfway through the session and joined in and then she dropped me home i got showered and changed into my pjs put my work my rugby stuff in the wash got my work stuff ready for my shift the next day and then my old sister stayed for a bit had a cornetto and we just sat on the garden and have a good chin wag and then she went off home my older brother got back from being at rugby training and younger brother was back from being out at the pub with his mates after being at work and then for tea, I had spaghetti bolognese with a ton of Parmesan cheese. I mean, it's a, there's no other way. You can't have spaghetti bolognese without having a ton of Parmesan cheese. I just absolutely love Parmesan cheese. So I had a load of that. And I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. Absolutely love spaghetti bolognese so much, especially with lots of Parmesan cheese. The best way. I absolutely demolished that. I was actually so hungry after touch rugby. I then tidied up the kitchen and then I was watching the UK soaps. I then finished writing my journal for the day. I put that away, got my work uniform laid out ready for me for my shift the next day. And then I went off to bed pretty early for me. I went to bed about 10.30ish. I got up super early and was like, why am I up so early? So I just laid in bed for like ages, just scrolling through my phone, put a load of post up onto my Instagram and other social medias and I was just treating around my Twitter, messaging some of my mates, watching TikTok and YouTube until my alarm then finally went off. I then posted a photo of me and my grandpa on my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram wishing him a happy birthday because he's now 81 today and then I got showered and changed into my work uniform, had some toast and a cup of tea. My mum was up and she dropped me to work. My dad Old brother and sister and younger brother and sister were at work and where well, I was heading to and yeah it was quite a good day at work super busy and I was the hostess with the most desk I was showing people to their tables checking if they had books and if they had I was showing them to the reserved tables I was then doing some food and drink orders sign food and drinks clean tables clean chairs doing a bit of everything. The only thing I do not do is pulling the pints and making any drinks because I am, I have poured a few pints before and I have made a few like soft drinks, but doing the pulling the tabs, I'm not very confident on that. I need to train a bit more on that and then I should be okay. For now, I'm just happy with being front of house, just running through drinks, clean tables, clean chairs. And yeah, did a bit of everything. It was super busy. It was quite quiet and then went really busy and then quiet again just towards my, the end of my shift. I did 10 till 3 and I was clocked off at 3. Got my bag and was out the door. I was like, I'm getting out of here. I'm doing 10 to 3 again tomorrow and then I think I might be working Sunday. They were just sorting out next week's rotor as I was leaving. I did have a quick glance and I'm doing 4 shifts which is a nice amount to do which is good and I then got picked up by my mum I got back home got my work clothes my work trousers are white but I've got two work tops now which is good because before I only had one so I put the one I wore to work today in the wash and then my second one is currently just drying on the washing line so I'll be wearing that one tomorrow and then I had some cereal and watch a bit of tv just a bit of music my old brother's now back from work my dad's back from work now as well and i was just listening to a bit of music doing a bit of drawing watch some pictures and vlogs and i'm kind of having a bit of like a break from tiktok i posted a load and then deleted them all because i just thought i just wasn't 
feeling it. I was just like, I don't think, I don't think they're very good at the moment. And so I've just not really been, I've done, it's been like three, four, maybe five days, but I just haven't done any TikToks. I think I'm just all TikToked out now. And yeah, most of the TikToks I've, like, I mainly do duet because I love doing a, a good duet on TikTok. But most of them now I've already done. So I'm just like, it's just me doing the same one over and over again. So I'm just going to wait now and just hope that some new duets come along and who knows. And yeah, I cannot wait. Tonight we are off to my grandpa's birthday meal. We're going to the White Horse at Buckover, which is such a great restaurant. Absolutely love it. And I haven't been there in so long. Can't wait to get some barbecue ribs on there as they do them there and they're literally ginormous. And it's like Man Vick's food. You ever watch that show? Love that show. And then I was just listening to the new Little Mix song, which is so good. And new Charlie XCX song as well. Music Friday, new Music Friday, I love it. Love all the new music coming out. And also watch some vlogs and TikToks and Zoella and Alfie Days have welcomed a baby girl a few days ago. They posted on their Instagram stories and Instagram and I was just like, oh my God, it makes my heart so happy. It's crazy because they vlog it, they did it like well, like vlogging. So you watch the pregnancy during the vlogs. So of course, like the trimesters and everything. So of course we were like there watching it, like as their journey like happened. And yeah, it was really cool. And she's, the baby is so cute. She's got a bit of a, unique name i can't pronounce the name but i just i'm so happy for them and it's just so cool and yeah congratulations guys i can't wait to give my grandpa his card i've got him a card for the card factory which is absolutely ginormous and yeah hope he likes it and yeah i i'm gonna be going off to just chill maybe try and do some tiktoks if I'm in the mood, listen to a bit of music, probably write a bit of my journal, and then I'm gonna be getting ready for the meal, and I shall see you after the meal. Bye. I'm back from being at the birthday meal for my grandpa's 81st birthday. It was such a great meal, and while we were waiting to be shown to our table, I was able to get some quick snaps of some of the funky wallpaper and of the lights and stuff they had as they've had a refurb and it is so cool in there and I'm going to show you guys some snaps I got while getting shown to our table now. It's really nice in there. It's a nice like green, like turquoisey colour and lots of really funky nice patterns on the wall. Nice like chandeliers and stuff hanging with like plants and stuff. And yeah, I really like it in there. It's changed a lot. We then got shown to our table and we gave our grandpa his birthday cards. And then we had our food and I had some J2O's, a load of onion rings and had a lasagna and a Nutella pizza which is so cool with lots of strawberries and nutella on and ice cream and literally thought i was gonna have to get it to take away because i was literally struggling but i managed to eat a lot and i'm going to show you guys a photo of the lasagna and of the pizza nutella pizza now I was well and truly stuffed after that and then we got the cake that my dad had gone to get from Tesco's and we sang happy birthday to my grandpa and I sang it very loudly and very theatrical as I do and so my older brother and sister and me were like messing around joking about it and then anything that they'd say I'd start saying back like singing like saying very theatrically in like a singing kind of voice and yeah, it was a really good evening, lots of fun, lots of laughs 
and then we made our way back home and my younger brother and older brother and younger brother's girlfriend went in one car old sister went off back to hers i had to sort some stuff out and then she's coming back here and my older brother and younger brother and his girlfriend have just got back and me and my dad and mum went in the main car and we got back we're home now and we're going to be playing some board games later on and i'm just currently watching the uk and aussie soaps as i thought it was saturday today so i was like great don't need to worry about watching the soaps as it is saturday but it's not saturday it is friday today so i'm currently just watching the aussie and uk soaps i finished writing my journal and i've put that away and then when my older sister gets to ours we're going to be playing some board games which should be fun and yeah i hope you guys have all had a great end to your week or have a great weekend ahead and i shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon bye